Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron. Today I am going to be dyeing 10 grams of 70% baby alpaca, 30% silk yarn in the microwave. I'm using, I've got an old takeaway container here. And here is 0.1 gram of uh, lavender fiber reactive dye from Dharma, which I've um, dissolved into some, some water. When I, uh, now here's a teaspoon of vinegar. Now, when I was weighing out this dye, I did wear a mask, and I've still got, I've still got my gloves on. So, gonna, this yarn has been pre-soaking uh, for quite a while. Only need really needs to be about 30 minutes or so, but this has been much, much longer. I'm just going to get, just dry off all around the sides. I'm going to loosely cover this takeaway container with its lid. See, I'm just plopping it on. I'm not snapping it into place. And I'm going to microwave it on high for two to three minutes in 30 second increments. So it will be on for 30 seconds, resting for 30 seconds, on for 30 seconds, resting, and so on. So this has been in the microwave for three minutes in total. Uh, I've, just, I've just clicked the lid on. See it's really steamy. In, oh, there you go. See it's really steamy in there. It looks like some of the dye might be in the yarn. Uh, there still seems to be dye in the water as well. So I'm just going to leave this like this until it has cooled down completely and then I'll open it up and see what we've got, see if uh, any of the dyes bound to the yarn. This is a fiber reactive dye, so I've never actually used this uh, doing this method before, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Right, so the next day, okay. and it looks like there might be the tiniest amount of dye left in there, but it all seems to have gone into our beautiful yarn. So now we can rinse this through. Check bleeding. See, uh, a tiny bit, uh, a tiny bit of washing up liquid, just to try and dislodge any excess dye that's not bound to the yarn. Wash out any, wash out the vinegar. Just, there we go. Now I can't see any bleeding, which is great. So I'm just going to wash this through a few times, and then hang it out to dry. And here is our finished Baby Alpaca Silk Blend yarn dyed with lavender dye. Now this is, uh, it's pretty solid. You know, there are some paler patches and darker patches, but overall it's pretty solid considering it is hand dyed. And this yarn is just so, so soft. I keep, I keep you know, squidging it. It's, it's, oh, I love it. Uh, I would like to get some more of this, but it is fairly expensive, so we'll have to wait and see about that. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, sh let me know, should I buy some more of this yarn and make it available on my website to buy? I do have a few yarn yarns listed on my website. Uh, not many at the moment, but I am slowly building up my stock. Uh, my website details are all down in the video description. I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday, and I do like to experiment with different dyes and fibre types and techniques. So every video there'll be something different and interesting to watch, I hope. Thank you so much for watching.